Our two-handed great sword is the biggest sword we make. But don't let its size fool you, as there's nothing awkward or clumsy about this awesome sword. Sure, it's big, and meant to be carried over the shoulder in a scabbard instead of on a belt or baldric. But it's extremely well balanced and easily wielded of people of larger stature and physical strength. Wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. The sword world continues to overlook, in my opinion, the efficiency and power, and I even say majesty of this great sword. That's a nice cut of meat you got hanging on there from that slab, buddy. What are you going to do with all that meat, guy? Nice chub and tuck, too, by the way. That's what we call the ninja. The Ninja Warrior Chubb and Tuck, dude, and this guy is taking it to the next level. You bring a Chubb and Tuck to athleticism and fear and dexterity. It's called the Ninja Chubb and Tuck, guys. See, the big boys, they would Chubb and Tuck, and that way they had a very good center of gravity. They could tuck and roll. That's when you tuck up and then you roll. It's a really nice move, dude, and this guy, as you can tell, all in black, is the ultimate Chubb and Tuck Ninja Warrior. Let's see what he's going to do with all that meat. Whoa! Look at that, dude! Fuck that meat up, dude! Yeah! Fuck that meat up! Flick, 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 flick. And up comes apart 20 pounds of beef. <coughs> what are you, what is he slicing? Cinnamon sticks? Oh, we fucked up the cinnamon sticks, dude! Shit! This guy's the real deal. Look at the tie, dude. The tie is like, it's the perfect circumference of his gooey center, dude. He's got the body rolls and the tie just perfectly measures it out, dude. I love that. Look, dude. I, don't, I can't tell if it's too short or too long. It just, it's something's going on with that tie and it's really fucking majestic. It's, it's even, it's a little bit more magic than the sword. I'm trying, I know I'm supposed to be looking at the sword, but that tie, what's happening with that tie, Eula? Is it too short or too long? I would say too short. Is it too short? <laughs> but then like, He's doing a really high ch tuck. So if it was longer, it shouldn't be past your belt. That's the problem. He's chubbing too high. And his, his tie is suffering the consequence. What the fuck? Dude, you guys need to tone it down a little bit. What's with the fucking pig head, dude? Was this Lord of Flies? This shit just got a little bit too weird for me, dude. The slab of meat, I was on board with the slab of meat, but the fucking pig head, dude. What exactly are you trying to convey here? Ah, what the fuck, dude? Ah, 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 ah. <coughs> oh, what? Dude. That was pretty dope, actually. Cut right through his skull. That was cool, dude. That I could actually see that being really useful in my life. A fucking boot? Have you ever wanted to cut through a boot before? Well, now you can do it with the Chubb and Tuck Samurai Warrior Super Long Sword Cold Steel Long Sword. I believe you, dude. You can cut through that boot. What? There's fucking meat in the boot! There's meat in the fucking boot! They shoved meat in the boot! Like, how much more resistance can a fucking steak add to a sword cut? They just did that to weird me out, dude. Like, the boot cut was cool, dude. Why did you have to put the steak in the boot? What is wrong with these people? Someone actually took a steak and shoved it in the fucking foot of a boot. And then that's not enough. You have to cram it into the foot part. He crammed the fucking steak. Look at this, dude! Someone shoved steaks in a boot! What the fuck? And it's so unexpected. It's just like a boot. You're like, cool, dude. You're gonna cut out the, you're gonna cut the toe off the boot. But there's a fucking steak in the boot. Steak in the boot. Can we just take a minute to reflect on the fact that they put a fucking steak in the boot? Put a steak in the boot. Steak in the boot. That's a sight, by the way, for the record, that I never expected to see in my life. It was just one of those times where I just like wasn't ready to see what I was looking at. 
steak in the boot, dude. It's a steak in the boot. Classic. What the hell is this? What? What is it? There's like, there's like steak in the boot? <laughs> yeah, dude. Steak Why? in the boot. Did it's you put it here? It's steak in the boot. That's where I keep my steaks. What? Yeah, dude. It stinks. How long <laughs> has it been here? It's been in there like a week, dude. I was wondering how long it was going to take you to find it's it, so dude. It's so gross. Why in my boot? It, 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 it's steak in the boot, dude. It's classic. Come on. Ew. <laughs> Is there going to be steak in that fucking bamboo shoot? I'm going to be disappointed unless there's just pieces of meat and everything they cut up now. No meat, dude. No meat. Not impressed. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Fuck that water up. Fuck that water up, dude. Fuck that water, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You fuck that water up. If you're strong enough to wield the great sword, it's an enormous advantage in any fight. I have to ask, dude, are you aware of what year it is? People don't walk around with swords anymore, dude. People don't use swords in fights anymore. It's not... Do you think he knows that? I'm not sure he knows that. More pigs. You got... You, you made your point, dude. How many pig heads are you going to cut off, dude? You guys, you made your point. This video doesn't need to be nine minutes long, dude. You already sliced off like ten fucking pig heads. Fuck it. <laughs> only in America, dude. Ugh, only in America. What more can I do to convince you to buy a great sword? Buy Cold Steel's great sword. You'll praise my name. You're gonna love this sword. All right, dude. You're trying to make a sale of me. You're doing a hard sell here, and I appreciate that. And I'm gonna tell you what I think. I'm gonna tell you how to sell me that sword. Take it apart. Put it in a furnace. Melt it down. You got aluminum. You got steel. You got a lot of valuable metals there. Build something else. Anything else with it, sold, dude. I'm yours. I'm on it, dude. Thank you for the purchase. I appreciate that. I'm going to buy your product. Our two-handed great sword is the biggest sword we make. But don't let its size fool you, as there's nothing awkward or clumsy about this awesome sword. Sure, it's big and meant to be carried over the shoulder in a scabbard instead of on a belt or baldric. But it's extremely well-balanced and easily wielded of people of larger stature and physical strength. Dude, what was that? Did you just have a stroke? And who's saying these things directly to you and they're saying them directly to you? That's a whole other...